come from 12 nations from around the globe. 30 athletes all chasing a single dream. But only one man can be crowned world's strongest. Who will survive the most talented field of strength athletes ever assembled and emerge as champion? The 2008 Metrics World's Strongest Man is next. Welcome to the Metrics World's Strongest Man. We're in West Virginia's capital city of Charleston, a magnificent setting for the biggest and best event in strength athletics. Hello everyone, I'm Todd Harris along with Bill Kazmaier. Today we start things off with qualifying group number one and the loading race. Each athlete needs to carry four objects over a distance of 12 meters. They'll begin with two 231 pound barrels. Then they'll have to move two sacks, each checking in at 275 pounds. This will be total body exertion. Now to the first of our two heats, Igor Werner of Germany making his first appearance at the world's strongest man at the age of 34. Iceland in has a history two. of producing great From strongmen. Iceland, Could Stefan Solvi Peterson be next in line? The 22 year old is another rookie, but big things are expected from him in the future. And filling out the heat, that's Jason Bergman of the United States. The man from Appleton, Wisconsin, is back for a second straight year. Carrying weights in the sand is a tough way to start, especially if you're a rookie. They have 75 seconds to carry over 1,100 pounds. Jason Bergman in the near lane, running almost neck and neck with Stefan Solvi Peterson right now in the green. Great start, but this race is all about the finish. How much he got left for those two big sets. Those barrels, 231 pounds, and now it is Jason Bergman out in front. He moves on to the first sack, which weighs 275 pounds. Nice way to put it on the shoulder. That's really efficient. Carrying it down to the waist zaps the energy from your body. Peterson in the green, and the German Vern is still struggling with that first sack. Now, this is Bergman on the fourth and final apparatus that needs to be moved. And if it looks like it's in, he's in a lot of pain, Kaz, well, that's 275 pounds. Searching for the right grip. He seems to have hit the wall. If he can get on the shoulder again, he might just complete this course. Jason Bergman struggles. He's got under 15 seconds to go the 12 meters. For the German Werner and Iceland Peterson, they are done. Up three seconds to go for Jason Bergman. And there you see the frustration. But a good time for the American. A solid showing. He gets three objects in a time of 36.90 seconds. The news not so good for Stefan Solvi Peterson. He has to seek medical treatment. He gets two objects in 22.03 seconds. And for the rookie, Igor Werner of Germany, two objects in a time of 25.20 seconds. We move on to the second of two heats of the loading race. Yarek Dimmick of Poland has reached the final five of his previous six World's Strongest Man appearances. The veteran comes in approaching top form. There's Mark Felix of England. He is just a marvel. The oldest man in the field somehow keeps improving every year, and he certainly expects to reach the and final for a third three. straight year. And finally, it's Derek Poundstone. America. The police officer from Connecticut is making his world's strongest man debut, but he's certainly a guy that could leave Charleston with the title. Okay, These position. are three heavyweights, Todd. I'm really impressed with everything about Poundstone. He's got the power, smarts, and the drive. He's got it all. First barrel, 231 pounds, as is the second one. And you're right, Kaz, Poundstone out in front ahead of Mark Felix there in the black shirt. Looks like he's on a sprint. All he's got to do is shoulder those sacks and bring them home. Yarek Dimmick, they're struggling now. He gets onto the sacks. It is Poundstone. And look at that, Kaz. 275 pounds manhandling it. Nice form. He makes it a lot easier putting it up there. Yarek Dimmick really moving slow in the sand right now. It is very heavy, but he is struggling. And Derek Poundstone and Mark Felix neck and neck, and now it's Felix moving out in front. What an amazing grip by Felix. He's probably the only guy that can grab onto the horn of that sack and carry it in that manner. 
The tricky part, though, now is Mark Felix has to get it up on the platform. Meanwhile, Derek Poundstone, he may have run out of gas. And he's done it. Mark Felix has completed the entire course 105.73 seconds. He wins the competition. Derek Poundstone, second place, three objects in a very respectable time of 31.36. And for Yark Dimmick, he settles for fourth. Well, a great start for Mark Felix as the only man to complete the course. He'll pick up the six points for the win. Derek Poundstone takes second by virtue of being the fastest to move three objects. Then it's Bergman, Peterson, Dimmick, and Werner. Event two for group number one was the Fingal Fingers. And let's show you what happened in this event. In sixth place from Germany was Igor Werner, three fingers in a time of 31.42 seconds. In fifth place from England, Mark Felix, four fingers in 33.72 seconds. In fourth place, it was Jarek Dimmick of Poland, four fingers in 29.05 seconds. In third place, Stefan Solvi Peterson of Iceland, four fingers in an impressive time of 28.07 seconds. And grabbing second place, Jason Bergman of the USA, all five fingers in 56.54 seconds. But the winner in the Fingal Fingers, Derek Poundstone of America, five fingers in an amazing time of 40.36 seconds. Derek Poundstone completed the course over 16 seconds faster than Jason Bergman for the win. Stefan Solvi Peterson picked up third. Then it was Dimmick, Felix, and Werner. After two events, it's Derek Poundstone on top with 11 points. Jason Bergman is second with nine. Mark Felix is in third. Stefan Solvi Peterson and Yark Dimmick are tied for fourth. And Igor Werner is in sixth. Qualifying group number one moves to their next event. It's a classic, the truck bowl. 50,000 pounds, are you kidding me? It's gonna take a gargantuan effort just to start this load moving down the 20 meter course. The athlete's legs and arms will suffer from the initial tug on the rope, and it'll only get worse with every step. All two men have already had their opportunity at the truck pole, and Igor Werner could barely get it out of park. The rookie from Germany only managed a pole of 1.6 meters. Not very much better was Poland's Jarek Dimmick. Jarek moved the truck just four meters before he called it quits. His chance of reaching the final took a big hit here. And remember, he is a five-time finalist. He's got a lot of work to do. Well, Kaz, if claiming one of the two spots in the final from this group is Jason's goal, he is off to a great start. He's in second place overall after just two events. Jason may be overshadowed by some of the other U.S. strongmen, but it would be a mistake to underestimate him. The task at hand, move that 50,000 pound truck 20 meters. Todd, his lack of leverage is overcome by his mass and power, and he's staying really low and pulling like a bull in the barnyard. I was gonna say, Kaz, it looks like he has got tremendous technique. He's willing to take the pain. A tough Wisconsin guy trying to pull 50,000 pounds, and he is bringing it home. Jason Bergman, nice and smooth, Kaz. He even has a little momentum going here. He does, but he sure could use a little more body mass and weight. It's amazing he's able to move this big load down the course the way he is. Well, this course is 20 meters long, and he is fast approaching the end of it. Jason Bergman, he could be the first man to complete the course, Kaz. Look at this. All that push and pull, the pain is going to be great. The lactic acid is building up. He's going to go into shock when he finishes this. And he's done it. American Jason Bergman has completed the course in an amazing time of 106.71. That's 50,000 pounds, folks. Literally nothing left in the tank. So he becomes the leader in the truck pull. What a performance. Three men have their scores in the books with three more to go. That brings us to England's Mark Felix. Now, the 42-year-old has reached the final in the last two years and is currently in third place in the overall standings. Mark's got more experience than some of the other guys in this group in heavy pulling. Yeah. So we could see something really big here. If he uses those arms. And remember, that truck is loaded down with coal. It checks in at 50,000 pounds. The time to beat, 106.71 put up by American 
Jason Bergman and Kaz, I don't think that time's gonna stand. Look at the pace that Mark Felix has the truck going. Quick feet, a lot of arms, and look at that tilt. He's taking the pain. The course 20 meters long. He's got 75 seconds to complete it. He's not gonna need all 75 seconds. That 50,000 pound truck is nearing the end. Tremendous drive. He really wants to get a good time. He's laying it all off. And he will get a good time. 49.72 seconds. Beating Jason Bergman by more than 15 seconds, he is the current leader. Mark kept the hands moving and the feet driving to power the 25-ton truck across the line. Wow. All right, so the right overall here, leader the of this US group is Derek Connecticut's Derek Poundstone, Poundstone, who has picked up 11 of a possible 12 points through two events. And at 6'1", 313 pounds, Derek's got the bulk that you need for this kind Ready? of event, Kaz. Super powerful legs. I've been in this position before. He's searching for a leverage advantage and just leaning and driving. It's a tough way to start. Remember, the time to beat, 49.72 seconds put up moments ago by England's Mark Felix. Now he's got the momentum, Kaz. He seems to have dropped in and lowered his angle. He's getting all that leg power in and pulling a lot with those big arms. This man is so powerful. Derek Poundstone, a first-time participant here at the Metrics World's Strongest Man. He is trying to get that 50,000-pound truck across the line and beat the time put it by Mark Felix at 49.72. I don't think he's gonna get it, but it's still gonna be a strong performance. Getting faster towards the end. His time, 51.03 seconds, so that puts Derek Poundstone into second place. Derek lost a lot of time in the start, but he sure made it up down the stretch, pulling hard and driving with a huge leg strength. From the nation of Iceland, Bruce One Stephen athlete to Stephen go in the Peterson. truck pole, and it's Stefan Solby Peterson of Iceland, who's currently tied for fourth in the overall standings. Now, the number he's chasing in this event is the time of 49.72 seconds, and that was put up by England's Mark Felix. We remind you, this is a 20-meter course. He's got 75 seconds, and he is harnessed to 50,000 pounds. Great height, a lot of leverage, doing the lean technique. He's got to get this thing moving. The fans cheering him on as he tries to drive forward, get some kind of momentum going. The truck being loaded down with West Virginia coal, but he's still got a long ways to go, Cass. He's pulling hard. You know, this guy trained at John Paul Sigmerson's gym. He's trained with Magnus Berg. He knows what it takes to be super strong. The time to beat has come and gone, so he will not get first place or second, but Stefan Solvi peterson is driving on for a good time nonetheless. Will he break the one-minute barrier? Putting a lot of energy into it. And he stops the clock at 101.32. With a time of one minute, one second, Stefan Solve Pedersen of Iceland. A time of 49.72 seconds gives Mark Felix the win in the truck pole. Derek Poundstone of the U.S. finished second, less than two seconds back. Iceland's Stefan Solve Pedersen was third. At the halfway point, Poundstone leads the overall standings with 16 points. Felix is second with 14. In third place, it's Bergman with 12. Then it's Peterson, Dimmick, and Werner. Can anyone in qualifying group one chase down Derek Poundstone of the United States and Mark Felix of England? We'll have the answer when the Metrics World's Strongest Man returns. Welcome back to the Metrics World's Strongest Man. We're at the State Capitol Complex for the deadlift, the fourth of six events for the six men in this group. Let's take a look at the action. Grabbing sixth place, Igor Werner of Germany. Five lifts in a time of 35.17 seconds. In fifth place, Stefan Solvi Peterson of Iceland, five lifts in 23.61 seconds. In fourth place, it was Jarek Dimmick of Poland with a time of 23.31 seconds. He got five lifts. In third place, it was Jason Bergman of the USA, 
six impressive lifts in a time of 32.27 seconds. In second place, Derek Poundstone got all seven lifts in a time of 41.81 seconds. But your winner, Mark Felix of England, all seven lifts in 26.92 seconds. Mark Felix's seven lifts in 26.92 seconds gives him a third win in four events. Derek Poundstone was the only other man to complete all seven. He grabbed second, third place, went to Jason Bergman for his six lifts. After four of six events, Poundstone remains atop the leaderboard, but Felix closes within a point. Bergman is third, Peterson is fourth, Dimmick's fifth, and Werner is in sixth. Remember, only two men in this group will advance to the final. The fifth of six challenges of strength facing qualifying group number one is the Viking Press. The giant log weighs 305 pounds. It's gonna take tremendous shoulder and tricep power, along with core strength and a good amount of leg drive to help lock it out overhead. We're already underway in the Viking Press, and Germany's Igor Werner, a rookie to this competition, struggled his way to just seven repetitions. 10 repetitions was the number put out by the other rookie in the competition, Iceland's Stefan Solveig Peterson. And the current leader with 11 lifts is Mark Felix of England. At 42 years of age, he continues to impress. And that takes us to Jarek Dimmick of Poland. If Jarek wants to reach the From final Poland, cast, he knows Jarek posting a big Dimmick. result in the Viking press is absolutely critical. Jarek's always been a good presser for a guy that doesn't have a massive upper body with huge shoulders and arms. Stand up with it. Big hit. 305 pounds, he's got 75 Down. seconds, does Yarek Dimmick. Down. And the mark to beat is 11 Down. repetitions put up by England's Mark Felix. Down. And look at the pace, Kaz. Down. Nice press. Remember, he tore a bicep off last year. It had to take a lot of time to rehab and keep training on the other muscle, the triceps. He's doing very well. Down. Down. He is your new leader, Yarek Dimmick of Poland. Down. I guess the rehab has been good, but Yark is looking for more. He currently sits at 13 repetitions. He's tried to collect a little bit of energy after stopping like that, but you can see he's through. Strong performance by Dimmick. 13 repetitions in the Viking press. Todd, a good presser, always uses his legs to drive the weight overhead. That's exactly what Yark did. If you want 13 reps, it's only possible with leg drive and heavy shoulder power. So Wisconsin's Jason Bergman enters the Viking Bergman's press in third United place States in the overall standings. Jason's very Jason similar Bergman. stature to Yark Dimmick, Kaz. What do you expect here? Jason might be a little thicker in the upper body than Yark, but it's going to come down to his technique. He's got great leg drive. Let's see what he gets going. His deltoids are much more massive than Yark's. Down! Down! Right now, though, Yark has the mark to beat 13 repetitions. This is Jason Bergman. Look at the pace. I like the leg drive. He's employing quadricep, hips driving forward, and even using his calves. You can see his heels coming off the ground. Jason Bergman into double digits. At 11, does he have anything else left though, Kaz? This is 305 pounds and there's still time remaining. No quit in this farm boy. I'm sure he's gonna try to drive it forward. He seemed to shove his hips forward to get underneath it and become even shorter. I like that technique. And this for the tie. He's done it. Jason Bergman has tied Yard Dimmick at 13 repetitions. This is for 14. We put him in the lead. And Jason Bergman has run out of gas. A strong performance. He is in a tie with Yard Dimmick. Well, Jason Burton was efficient, and he made it look fairly effortless until the reps started to add up, and then it was desperation as he tried to pad his total. The final From competitor the in the Viking States, press is Derek, Derek Poundstone, Poundstone of the United States, the overall leader to this point. And just by looking at him, it's obvious the big police officer from Connecticut has the upper body to succeed at this event. Remember, the mark to beat, 13 repetitions put Down. up by Dimmick of Poland and Bergman Down. of the USA. Down. Nice form, really smooth, Down. lots of shoulder. Down. He's got the power to do it. Down. Down. 
105 pounds, Derek Poundstone has completed nine reps. This apparatus would be a lot easier to press if those handles and thumbs were pointed inward. With those straight bars, this is pretty difficult. It's all front deltoid and inner tricep. Poundstone, one away from tying our leaders. He said that's enough. A strong performance by Derek Poundstone, good enough for third place with 12 repetitions. With a little more leg, he would have got a lot more than 12, but with shoulders and arms like that, it was an easy exercise for him. So the Viking press ends with a first place tie. Yarn Dimmick and Jason Bergman shared the win with 13 repetitions. Derek Poundstone took third. Mark Felix won't be thrilled with his fourth place finish. Peterson was fifth, while Werner was sixth. Poundstone with 25 points still leads the overall standings, but the battle for second has gotten much tighter. Felix has 23 points, while Bergman has 21 and a half. Only two of these three men will qualify for the final. We're at the University of Charleston here in Charleston, West Virginia for the Atlas Stones, the final event for qualifying group number one. If one event has come to define the world's strongest man, this is it. The athletes need to move the five stones ranging in weight from 220 to 400 pounds from the ground to the platform. This race against the clock is a supreme test of overall body strength. The first pair of athletes have already competed in the Atlas Stones. Germany's Igor Werner was featured in the opening duo, and he ends a rather disappointing World's Strongest Man debut with a score of four stones in 45.73 seconds. Werner was matched with Stefan Solvey Peterson of Iceland, and Peterson cruised through the course, lifting all five stones in 25.65 seconds. At 22 years of age, we're sure to see Peterson for many years to come. And that brings us to the penultimate pair, Jason Bergman of the United States and Jarek Dimmick of Poland. Just a point and a half the out United of second, States Jason of America, Bergman has a realistic Jason shot of Bergman. claiming more than two bursts in the final. After reaching the final in his first five World's Strongest Men appearances, and Dimmick of Poland, Poland comes Jarek up short, Dimmick. unfortunately, for the second year in a row. So look at the overall standings. Barring a major stumble, Derek Poundstone is primed to reach the final. If Mark Felix posts a better score than Bergman in the Atlas Stones, he's in. Find but a slip-up could open Ready. the door for the American. Todd just looked for Bergman to really go all out. He's not going to leave anything in the tank. Yard Dimmick still strong on the left, but we are focusing our attention right now on that man. Jason Bergman on the right. Under the third stone, that's 265 pounds. Now this next stone, 310. He gets that done. The last one, Bill, 400 pounds. A ton of power, and it comes right up. Beautiful lift. 25.65 seconds for the American Jason Bergman. So he has done his job, and he gives himself a chance to move into the final. So Jason Bergman, five stones in a time of 22.68 seconds, has really put the pressure on Mark Felix. Yarek Dimmick, not his year this year. Todd, that fifth stone is 400 pounds. That's unreal. Jason really came up with a lot of heart in this event. Well, he has given himself a chance. Now, Derek Poundstone is virtually States, certain to advance Derek to the final, Poundstone. but he can guarantee his place if he completes all five stones. Now, there are many more scenarios that and will allow Mark Felix to move on, but he knows Felix. he's assured of returning to the final for a third consecutive year if he beats Jason Bergman's score of five stones in 22.68 seconds or finishes in the top two. So a lot of clock watching going on here as both men make quick work of the first and second stones, 220 and 245 respectively. Felix catching the stone in midair. He's got so much power. Both men now under the 310 stone. Now the last one, this is 400 pounds. Poundstone trying to do it in one shot. He's struggling with it. Mark Felix knows what's on the line. Can he get it up and on the pedestal? Quite a fight. Such a struggle for both men, and he does it. There's no quitting Felix. He's not giving up. He wants to finish the fifth. But unfortunately, mathematically, Mark Felix has been eliminated from the world's strongest man final. He looks to be slightly injured. Mentally, Derek Poundstone's doing great, but physically looks to be in some pain. Looks to be walking a bit gingerly there. How about another hand for Derek Poundstone and Mark Felix? For Mark Felix, the fifth stone just wasn't to be. And Derek Poundstone gets the victory, but at what cost? 
And an unbelievable turn of events, and it's official. Team Bergman can celebrate the Wisconsin native's first trip to the world's strongest man final. So the victory in the Atlas Stones went to Jason Bergman. Stefan Solvey Peterson was second. In third, it was Derek Poundstone. Fourth place went to Mark Felix. It looked bad as soon as Mark Felix grabbed his right arm. If it is indeed a torn bicep, we wish him a speedy recovery. So a pair of Americans capture the first two spots in the World's Strongest Man final. Derek Poundstone wins the group and now will try to recover for the big show. And a dramatic finish helped Jason Bergman move on. So that concludes today's competition. For my partner, Bill Kazmar, I'm Todd Harris saying so long from Charleston, West Virginia. This has been the Metrics World's Strongest Man.